Good evening. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we have Nidhi Mishra, who had an exhaustive interview with Partha Basu. Partha is the India head of the Clean Air Initiative, and this organization recently had an ex did an exhaustive study of facilities available to pedestrians in Indian cities. So Nidhi, could you begin by telling us what were the main findings of this report? Uh, so the report by Clean Air Initiative, uh, which is an organization that works towards making cities in Asia more pedestrian friendly, uh, looked at seven major Indian cities mm -hmm. and uh, which ones fared better in terms of walkability and which were worse. They found that in some cities the relationship between the pedestrians and motorists was such that it was easier to walk. They respected pedestrians, they slowed down at level crossings okay. and things like that. While in other cities, uh, pedestrians would have a difficult time walking because of bad footpaths and uh, motorists, you know, picking up speed towards crossings, etc. So it found that uh, while Indian, while some cities are walkable, most cities are not. And what did this report find about, uh, say, people who have only access to, uh, who use wheelchairs? So the report also uh, exhaustively looked at uh, the options for people on we wheelchairs or with walking aids. And it found that, um, so in a city like Delhi, the government put bollards on footpaths to stop motorists from getting on. But while people on motorcycles can maneuver on it and get onto the footpath, people in wheelchairs can't because they don't have a clear 1.5 to 1.8 meter gap. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult for people on wheelchairs to access footpaths while it's easier for motorists now. And do you think the way townships or urban places are designed has a, has a role in, you know, in these kinds right. of uh, problems? So the report uh, also sees how earlier urban housing design was made in such a way that there were smaller plots and there was more space for roads. So it was much easier to walk to a nearby market which was two to three kilometers away or to a main road. So it was easily accessible by cycle or on foot. They now find that the plots are increasing in size which shrinks the space of the road. Mm -hmm. So now it's easier for people to take their cars because the detour is about a kilometer, kilometer and a half. So three kilometer distance become four, becomes four and a half, five kilometers. Mm -hmm. So now it's easier for people to take their cars and um, access uh, a commercial space or a market space very close to their house. So they also saw that, you know, this great, this flaw in housing and commercial space has also added more cars onto the roads. And finally, does the report suggest any ways to get people to walk more? The report does essentially say that uh, one of the best ways to get people to walk more is to subsi not, not subsidize parking. Mm -hmm. Because in a lot of cities, parking is free. So if you make parking expensive, then a lot of people will avoid driving and will then have to walk however kilometer, kilometer and a half to the closest metro station. So making parking more expensive, giving people better facilities, making walking more safe. So, you know, in a sense, when you have an underpass, an underpass is very unsafe. So people would rather take an auto and, you know, go around. So safer underpasses, better facilities, expensive parking, these are essentially the ways in which you can bring more people onto the roads. So clearly this report suggests that there's a lot that can be done to encourage walking in Indian cities. Absolutely. That's all we have for today. Keep watching.